Hey there, have you ever wondered what exactly is a quality level A subsurface utility information or SUI survey? As not everyone who locates underground services knows what it's all about. It's extremely technical, complex, sophisticated, but it doesn't have to be. You're in the right place. In this video, we're going to dive into what a quality level A SUI survey is and why it's sort of important during many of the construction stages. Imagine starting a construction project. The boys are out on the excavator, ripping out a tearing, only to accidentally go through an underground fiber optic cable. Was it located? Was it marked on a plan? Had it been physically potholed and verified? So many questions that utility information can sometimes be tricky to decipher. With the different standards and quality, different companies out there can deliver. With the SUI Subsurface Utility Information Survey and strategically positioned Quality Level A investigations, you can avoid this nightmare scenario by accurately mapping and locating subsurface utilities by collecting precision data before any disasters like this can happen. So whether you're a builder, engineer, architect or consultant or a keen bean looking at learning more, keep watching to find out how you can increase your confidence in subsurface utility information with a quality level A utility survey. Let's jump in. What is a quality level A subsurface utility information survey to the Australian standard AS5488? In a nutshell, the quality levels on an Australian standard AS5488 outlines the reader's and user's confidence level when interpreting the subsurface utility information on a given utility plan, map, or report. When it comes to planning and working around utilities, having confidence in the utility information makes all the difference whether you make it or break it, quite literally. Quality level A is the highest quality level and consists of the positive identification of the attributes and location of subsurface utility information at a point to an absolute spatial position in three dimensions. It's the only quality level that defines a subsurface utility as validated. Now, what does that exactly mean? If something has been validated, it's been proven and confirmed. And when it comes to underground high voltage or fiber optic cables, that's a pretty good thing. The quality level A SUI survey is typically carried out in areas where construction, design or development work is planned to help prevent damage to the subsurface utilities during excavation or when other digging activities are proposed. The exact survey of buried utilities is a central part of any project that involves ground disturbance and is a crucial for ensuring safety, reducing the risk of utility strikes and minimizing project and cost blowouts. To classify a utility as a quality level A, we need to make sure we meet the minimum requirements as per the Australian standard. These are the location of the points surveyed on surface and subsurface features measured in terms of absolute spatial positioning need to be on point. The survey is conducted with the Australian standard AS5488 and provides precise horizontal and vertical location data of the utilities. It has a maximum tolerance of plus or minus 50 millimeters along with other essential information such as attributes, utility justification, and metadata. We also need to gather some information on the physically located utility, which we call attributes. The quality level A attribute information includes the utility owner, the utility type, status, material, size, and pipe or conduit configurations. Quality level A points should also include important digital information stored as metadata, such as the quality level A acronym conveyed as QLA, the date the data was captured, the source of the information, the survey locating methods used to obtain the attribute information, survey control information used to determine the absolute position of the utility, who were the locators and who surveyed the utility data, and some other technical information we use to convey the certainty of the information to our clients. How do we get a QLA location level? Typically, we achieve a QLA from potholing and physically siding the asset, or opening manholes and pits to verify 
the exact location. Once we've verified and physically located the pipes, we need to record the data with utility surveying instruments. One of the easiest ways to physically site a utility is by using non-destructive digging methods to verify the quality B location levels that's usually obtained by using ground penetrating radar, electromagnetic detection methods to locate and map the utilities. In situations where the whole line or segment can't be verified by line of sight, quality level A should not be attributed to the line segmented between our validated points. This basically means if you cannot verify it, have not physically seen it, or cannot meet the requirements as per the Australian standard, the confidence in this location level should be lowered. Limitations. Just because we see a pipe or conduit from the outside, it doesn't mean quality level A SUI data is without its limitations. Quality level A utility surveys may not identify the internal structure or content within the asset. For example, redundant conduits or pipes may be subsequently used by other utility owners for another purpose. Examples of this is where old cast iron pipes can be used as sleeves and newer poly or plastic pipes can be run inside what looks to be an old disused pipe. The same could be said for electrical cables being run in older pipes or that one time when we came across an Optus fibre optic cable running inside an old stormwater in the eastern suburbs of Waverley, Sydney. We weren't expecting that one. Quality level A may not be achievable in all field situations due to geological conditions or construction methods, such as concrete encasing or trenchless and underboring technologies. A lot of assets being underbored through rock at deeper depths have been tricky to identify, as non-destructive excavation does not operate too well through rock and further investigations may be required. Having the highest utility quality level data when working on a construction excavation project can offer several advantages, including increased accuracy. The higher the quality of underground data on the pipes and cables, the more accurate the results will be when working in close proximity. With accurate utility data, you can take actions that are based on having reliable information that might impact your work. Better decision-making. High quality utility information provides better insights which enables you to make better decisions. With the right information on depth and location, you can identify clashes and potential opportunities that might otherwise go unnoticed with a lower confidence in utility information accuracy along certain proposed work routes. Improved efficiency. High quality utility information data can help you streamline project scheduling and reduce the time it takes to complete work on a certain area such as a main road or congested construction sites near Sydney CBD. With accurate and reliable SUI utility information at your fingertips, you can avoid wasting time and resources on unnecessary hand digging or painfully slow mechanical excavation. Enhanced productivity. With the right utility data, the ground crews and excavation teams can work more efficiently and effectively, which can help you achieve more work ahead of time. Increased productivity and better overall performance? Sounds good to me. And last but not least, greater confidence. When it comes to quality level A subsurface utility information, having high quality data gives you greater confidence in your project management decisions. Out of the quality levels A, B, C and D, quality level A info gives us the greatest confidence of utility information as we have physically verified the service with our own eyes. Having that confidence that you are making the right choices, I guess that's a good feeling. How does non-destructive potholing help an SUI utility survey? Non-destructive potholing, also known as hydro excavation or vacuum excavation, is a method of digging that uses pressurized water and a vacuum to excavate soil around subsurface utilities without causing damage. Non-destructive potholing causes minimal disruption to the surrounding area, reducing the impact on traffic, pedestrians and nearby structures. Overall, non-destructive potholing is an effective technique for conducting a quality level A SUI utility survey. It can provide accurate location data, reduce the risk of damage, speed up utility survey process 
and minimize the disruption to the surrounding area. And that's a wrap on our video on quality level A subsurface utility information surveys. We hope that you learned a lot about the importance of conducting quality level A SUI surveys and how it can help reduce the risk of damage to utilities during construction projects. What's your experience on classifying underground utilities with the correct quality location level? Please let us know in the comment section below. We really appreciate you sharing your wisdom with our community. Remember, when it comes to planning and working around underground utilities, having confidence in information makes all the difference whether you make it or break it. So if you're planning any construction or upcoming excavation projects, be sure to consider the quality level on your next utility surveying investigation report to ensure that you understand the confidence and accuracy of underground infrastructure and keep everyone around you safe. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos on similar topics on utility survey and investigations and to be notified when we upload our next video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you same time next week.